All right, this is our pre-algebra video, chapter uh, 1.5, adding integers. Um, so this should be a review for you, but uh, uh, we'll just go through it real quick. So um, when we're talking about adding integers, uh, and if you remember, integers are all whole numbers plus their opposites. Uh, that's uh, negative infinity through zero uh, towards positive infinity. Uh, so when you're adding integers, you have um, two types. One is both integers have the same sign. That means they're both positive or they're both negative. Um, or you have different signs, all right? One is positive, one is negative, and how do you handle that? Um, so if I look at the same sign, that's easy. If it's the same sign, just add the two numbers, and your answer takes on the same sign as your other two, as, as, your, as the two integers that you're actually adding. If they're both negative, like in this case, if they're both negative, you just add the two integers. In this case, 6 plus 4 is 10. And then since both numbers, both integers are negative, um, your answer takes on that same sign, negative, all right? When I look at different signs, um, addition is not too, too terrible for, for most uh, students, uh, but when we get into subtraction, I think a lot of people kind of struggle with that. But when we talk about uh, different signs, um, you can think of the word difference. You want to get the difference between those two numbers. So in my example right here, 5 plus a negative 8 is equal to negative 3. Uh, they are opposite signs. One's negative, one's positive. I get the difference between those two numbers, which is a 3. Now I need to determine, is that uh, 3 a positive 3 or is it a negative 3? Um, and one way to look at it is you look at the absolute value of both numbers. So the absolute value of that 5 is 5. The absolute value of that negative 8 is 8. Uh, the absolute value 8 is larger than 5. Therefore, I use the sign of that 8 that is in the problem, which is that negative. Therefore, my answer becomes negative. Okay? So, uh, let me erase that real quick. So, another way to look at it, uh, it's kind of a shortcut, but it's the exact same thing. Another way to look at it is... Uh, uh, if I forget about the signs, which number is larger, which, or if I look at those two numbers, which one is furthest away from zero on a number line, I know that the negative 8 is furthest from zero uh, on a number line. Uh, I know that that 8 is negative, therefore my answer has to be negative, okay? Uh, and then we could look at this one right here. Let's look at another example. Negative 11 plus 13 is equal to 2. Um, well, um, there are uh, uh, different signs, right? Opposite signs, different signs, so you know you want the difference between those two problems, those two numbers. Uh, so the difference between 11 and 13 is 2. Now the question is, is that a negative 2 or is it a positive 2? Um, I know that 13 is furthest from 0 uh, on a number line, therefore that 13 is positive. My answer is going to be a positive, right? Uh, and if I look at the absolute value, the absolute value of 13 is greater than the is greater than the absolute value of that negative 11. Is therefore you use the sign of that 13, which is positive. Therefore, that becomes my answer. Okay. When we talk about opposites, uh, 7 and negative 7 are opposites. We're not talking about absolute value. If I give you a negative 13, the opposite of negative 13 uh, is positive 13. Uh, the opposite of negative 24 is positive 24. And the opposite of 3 is negative 3. So when we talk about opposites, we're not talking about absolute value, but the opposite of the number, one positive, one negative, so forth. Okay? So next page. Um, so now let's look at some more examples, adding integers. Uh, if I notice right here, they're opposite signs. Therefore, I know that I need uh, the difference between those two numbers. So the difference would be 21. Now the question is that 21, a positive 21 or a negative 21. I know that 38 is furthest from zero on a number line. 38 is positive. Therefore, my answer is a positive 21. Okay. Uh, if I look at it uh, a different way, looking at absolute value, the absolute value of 38 is 38. The absolute value of negative 17 is 17. I know that 38 is larger than 17, therefore use the sign of that 38, which is positive. Therefore, my answer is positive, right? Okay, let's look at another one here. It's negative 54 plus a negative 28. They're both the same sign, so just add the two numbers. 8 and 4 is 12, carry 1. That's 82. Since both my numbers are negative, my, my answer also must be negative, okay? So now let's look at another one. There's more than two integers. What happens if I have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, 100 integers? You need to add them. It's very simple. Just take the first two, get an answer, drop it down to the next line, 
to your next row and then just bring down the next number and you continue until you get through all the numbers. So in this case right here I have negative 4 plus a negative 72. Same sign, add the same numbers or just add the two numbers, that's 76. My answer becomes negative uh, because both signs are negative. And then I'm going to bring down my 61, right? So now I see that they're different signs, right? I need the difference between those uh, and that would be actually 15, right? And then the question is that a positive 15 or a negative 15, if you notice this is furthest from zero on a number line, it is negative, therefore my answer should be negative. Or the absolute value of negative 76 is 76, the absolute value of 61 is 61. 76 is larger than 61, 76 has a uh, negative sign, therefore my answer has to be negative, okay? Uh, let's see what's next here. Um, okay, evaluating variable expressions. Um, it's uh, similar to what you've been doing, but now we're adding integers here. So I know that x is negative 22, y is actually negative 12. So if I look at this first one, I have x, which is negative 22, okay, uh, plus negative 9, right? I know that the signs are the same, therefore I'm just going to add these two numbers. That's 31, and my answer has to be negative because both my integers that I'm using are negative, all right? So let's look at b. I have x, which is negative 22, right? Uh, plus 17, and then it's plus y, which is negative 12. All right, so I have three integers. Let's just take these first two. I know that uh, different signs, one's negative, one's positive, get the difference between those two numbers, um, and that would be 5. I know it's got to be negative 5. Now let's bring down uh, this right here, plus negative 12. All right, uh, both the signs are the same, so just add the two numbers. And since both my integers that I'm using are negative, my answer also has to be negative, okay? So um, that concludes 1.5. So just remember, same sign, just add the two numbers. Your answer takes on the same sign as your two integers. If the signs are different, you get the difference between those two numbers. Then you have to determine, is your answer a positive or a negative? And it's going to be based on the, your two integers. Um, you take the sign of the larger absolute value, or you look at the one that's furthest away from zero on a number line, and you use the sign of that in your answer. Okay, um, that concludes the video, and have a wonderful day.